You don't want to get one it KO'd by a Tina. Oh, they tried bossing the... <laughs> they tried bossing it. They tried bossing the Umbreon, but they can't because of the badge. Saving the day, baby. Oh, you thought you had it, Chief, didn't you? Before we begin, please be sure to check out pdcdostore.com to grab yourself some codes to be able to build this very deck. Of course, use the code FTW for 5% off at checkout and enjoy the video. Oh, you Eevee lovers are going to love today's video because we're combining two of the cat Donnies from Pokemon Coliseum. That is Umbreon and Espeon. And we're smashing them together with Arceus. You see how we smash them together makes a little praise sign because Arceus is the god of Pokemon. I am a comedy genius. So, I really wanted to go back to my Arceus Umbreon list. I love Arceus Umbreon. Look, the fact that you have Dark Signal with Umbreon makes two hit KOing with Arceus so much better. The free gust is really, really cool. And I thought, you know what? Let's go back to it, but add Espeon VMAX in because Espeon VMAX has a great Arceus matchup when it is a mirror, which is fantastic with that max Mindstorm attack just doing a ton of damage. But more importantly, the Solar Revelation ability, which we all know and love, being able to just block off Sableyes and Star Requiem one hit KOs from Giratinas thanks to this ability with any Pokemon that have energy attached, which isn't hard in an Arceus deck that accelerates energy. So this is a deck that all in all has a way to deal with a lot of top tier stuff, which is really, really cool. And that's why I've been winning so many games with this deck. I've decided to do a very interesting thing here. Lost City, we have four Lost Cities. Listen, I know we're on PDCGO, so we're not going to see as much Reggie, right? Because Gift Energy is blocked, but there's still a bunch of single prize decks running around on the ladder anyway, taking its place. And I think ultimately Lost City isn't that bad of a card for this deck. You could throw in in like the, the one Path to the Peak as well, but you don't really want to do that in this deck because I, I know a lot of Arceus decks play Path to the Peak because once you Star Birth, you don't really need anything else, but this requires Dark Signal and also Solar Revelation at times. So obviously you don't want to Path yourself. So I thought the best stadium to really go for, other than let's say maybe a training court, would be Lost City. It seems like a bit of a no-brainer here. So I've definitely thrown that in there for those uh, single prize matchups, even though it does lend a little bit more to the, the Lost Box decks out there. But yeah, ultimately I think it's pretty cool. We've also got the little Zigzagoon combo in here. I, I do like playing Arceus and just getting like a one at KO because with a choice belt, you do 210. If you are going second and you do have your setup good and you have like a Giratina V just sitting there, it's really cool just to get a Zigzagoon, put it down, go ahead, take a KO on a Giratina V and just get a massive head start against the Lost Box or any sort of deck that plays Vs. So I thought Zigzagoon with uh, the combo with the Arceus seems like a good call right now. Uh, Gardevoir's in here just to help fix some maths. I really like the fact that it stops a Lost Impact with choice belt from KOing both the Espeon and the Umbreon because they both have 310 HP. Now, we could, in fact, I am tempted to do this. You could put in the, um, oh, I, I, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Let's, let's see if we can find space. Okay, he's gone and done it. He's gone and done it. I'm sure you guys are shouting this at me in the comments. We've got two Sun and Moon badges, meaning with the uh, Umbreon or the Espeon on the bench, they cannot be gusted up by boss's orders, which again is so, so useful. So what I've done is I've just cut the scoop up net down to one. That was there for the Zigzagoons mainly. And I've dropped the Lost City down to three. So I think that's a much better lineup. So Sun and Moon badge also being in this deck is actually really cool. So I really do like that. So ultimately this deck has so many tricks up its sleeve. Uh, it's just a really good deck. I really like it. So I think, you know what? I think it's time we get moving. That's really just, yeah. Oh, we hit 160, so yeah, they're just scooping, bro. It'd be lovely. Uh, uh, bro, bro. Three scoops in a row. Rare fossil. Oh my god. What is going on with this game? Right, heavy ball, so we can get an SP on. There we go. Lovely. I swear I played S. There we go. There we go. Everyone is scooping. Obviously, look, that was quite an obvious scenario where I counted them directly. Fair play, they scoop. But back in the day, I used to like the scoops, right? I used to like that. But it's actually quite inf infuriating now when I'm trying to show you a deck and how it functions. This deck has got so many scoops under its belt. It's ridiculous. So it's a good deck, right? My opponents are constantly scooping up against me. But I want to get a full game, bro. <laughs> Can I just get a full game? All right, what we got here? We got Mew VMAX with the Meloetta variant. Interesting. Okay. Now... We do hit me with VMAX for weakness because of the Umbreon, thankfully. So hopefully we can do that. And hopefully we can get a full game. <laughs> oh, how how the, how much has changed in time, Sean? How about back in the day you'd celebrate loads of scoops. Now I'm sitting here complaining about it. Listen, listen, it's great for ladder, right? For ladder, it's great, right? You get loads of scoops under your belt. People just don't want to play you because you're setting up so well. And it's like, oh yeah, nice, easy grinding on the ladder, that one, right? 
But I want to show the deck. I can't even show the deck. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and start moving here. I'm going to go ahead and Primate Wisdom the Evo Incense, I think. Espeon doesn't protect us from really anything here, so we don't need to worry so much about this psychic energy. We can just get a, yeah, get a, get a, get a, get an Arceus boy, Dan. You know what I'm saying? Get an energy on it. Bob's your uncle. And then we go from there. Now, we just got to hope we don't get boss KO'd here, which we can. <clears throat> but hopefully not. And we can go from there. If, if not, that's great, because if we get the Evo Incense, we can get both. An Arceus V-Star and a Bib Barrel. Now, one thing to note as well, my Elo has climbed back up, which is lovely. I'm actually matching up against decent decks again, <laughs> which is good. Even though some of the decks are matched up in, in, in that scoop fiasco where loads of decks just kept scooping against me. Um, I think some of them were, were a bit lower tier. But that said, I think we're in a bit of a healthier, a healthier place right now, which is nice. My chair won't stop making all the noises under the sun. Um, so that's good news, right? I'm actually back on track, which is good. <laughs> I think the stream helped that, because I did stream this deck, right? And was winning loads of games. It's so fun. Um, and because of that, I think my Elo's just caught back up. And I was playing other decks as well, like Decidueye and stuff like that. And obviously, just a lot of Decidueye decks, matchups on the ladder, just auto wins for Decidueye a lot of times. So, you know, that was that which helped as well. I feel a nice way to claw back up. Honestly, Decidueye's not a bad shout. It's not a terrible shout. Obviously, it wouldn't be great here because of Max Miracle and the Mew Max, but, you know. I mean, VMAX itself is a good ladder deck anyway. And it's actually cheaper now. Well, somewhat. Somewhat cheaper. Although, to be fair, the, the, the black and gold Mew is like four, five packs, something like that. I think the most expensive card is obviously the Genesect. And I think the Mew V, they're still about, what is the Mew V? Mew V about like, what, nine, ten prizes? And I think Genesect's about 11, 12 prizes? Uh, prizes. Prizes, packs. <laughs> um, either way. Right, they're just going to go Max Miracle. That's fine. Take the Oranguru out. That's okay. You're still kind of forcing an odd prize matchup. Well, actually, I don't know, to be fair. If they KO the Arceus, then it actually works out for them. Either way, let's go ahead and just get our Arceus V-Star out. And then, obviously, first, we're going to Marnie. Oh, no, no, let's, let's, let's go for a little cheeky boy there. Uh, Zig's good. Actually, that could be useful. Not now. Not useful now, but it, it can be. Right, I'm going to Marnie first. And then would like to see what we get here. So we've got the top and the up. Yeah, boy. All right, here's the play, okay? Here's the play, baby. Did we bench this this turn? I don't know. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to star birth. And we're going to get a barrel and we're going to get a sun and moon badge. So that way, unless they have some sort of tool scrapper, which I don't think this deck plays or uh, anything down that line. They cannot gust up the Umbreon. So the Umbreon's going to be safe. Which then means... I'm not going to get Espeon out. If I just charge up... My Umbreon here. That can sit on the bench. In fact... I'm going to go ahead and put one here and one on this Arceus V. You're ko -able with an Arceus, even just the V. And then if we just get a KO on this Mew... And they get another Mew out... We have Umbreon sitting on bench, cannot get gusted, and then all we have to do is get a VMAX, Evolve, and KO. Assuming, right, that they don't play an Oracorio, because an Oracorio actually does throw off the maths. Because it turns R160 to 140, not enough to KO even with weakness. So an Oracorio would throw off a lot of the maths, but that's again if. Now, if not, great. If they do, we could try and dig and set up another Umbreon and just throw a Choice Belt on it. And that will fix the mass completely as well. So, either way, this is still looking like the older variant though from you. So I don't, you know, Rotom phones and all that. So I don't think they've got an Oracorio in here. They might just, it might just be straight Meloetta. You know, two Meloettas, two Mew Maxes, all that kind of jazz. I don't think they've got that kind of... Um, I don't think they have the Oracorio tech in here. If I'm honest with you. Even though Oracorio is kind of like a must play in Mew VMAX now. It is a must, right? Because of the lost impact choice belt. Like you don't you don't want to get one it KO'd by a Tina. Oh, they tried bossing the <laughs> They tried bossing it. They tried bossing the Umbreon, but they can't because of the badge. Saving the day, baby. Oh, you thought you had it, Chief, didn't ya? <laughs> oh, sorry, Ollie. I oh, look, look. Listen, the game's the game. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just happy I've got a game. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so happy I got a bloody game. Escape probe. Oh, that's cheeky. That's very cheeky. Uh, take an arc. Uh, take a bit barrel. Yeah, take a bit barrel. Take a bit barrel. It's fine. I can retreat it. I've got I've got draw support in hand. I'm pretty sure I could get another one set up if it's really necessary. Um, and what we can do now is actually just try and dig for an Umbreon VMAX and just gust this up KO with Arceus. And then we could boss later on down the line or just set up another, another Umbreon. But I'm not going to be comfortable benching another Umbreon unless I find that other badge. So that's good for us. At least they just fail it. Damn! Oh, speak of. There is the badge, but... I would love to have an Umbreon in hand as well, but we don't. So I'm not going to... I think it'd be a bit daft of me to research. I'm just going to Marnie again. You know? I would like to get an Umbreon VMAX, though. That would be kind of clutch. <laughs> <laughs> Ask and you shall receive, baby. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to evolve to the Umbreon first off, right? In fact... No, no, we can't take the Mew. I was going to say we could take out the Mew V. Oh, they play Fusion Strike Energy. Oh, for love of Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's just counter encounters and counters. I can't, I can't, I can't, my head. I can't comprehend this, okay? I can you do it. Um, does, do you save us in any sort of maths? You do cross fusion strike with this one is 210 plus choice 240 plus power tablet 270 another power tablet is 290 so the guard of war actually saves us a lot from uh oh but then i'd rather just get the umbreon and, and just go from there you know <gasps> oh pardon me i think that's the way to go in it and then we're just trinity nova i think we're fine and look, if they do somehow get a cheeky gus ko right on I'm going to put that on you. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we could just turbo here if necessary. Um, I, Yeah, I think that's... The, yeah, I think I think we're far enough ahead now. Anyway. Oh, there's boss. <laughs> we are far enough ahead, I think, to a point where we can literally throw up another Arceus V-Star here. If they get the KO. And then just finish off. Although, to be fair, we just KO the, Gren the Greninjas. Uh, so I keep calling Greninjas, the Genesex as well. With our Arceus V-Star. If we get another Arceus V-Star, we still get a KO because we hit 210. That's 190. And we could just gust it up with the Umbreon. So we may not even need Umbreon in this game if all goes to plan. Which is crazy. If they get the KO here, though, it's a Roxanne. I'd love to have Path to the Peak now, but honestly... It is what it is. So Roxanne actually might not even be the best play. It might actually just be a boss play. It might be good. No, 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 no. We just take this out. That's assuming they've even got the KO. They still need a choice belt plus power tablet. To get there. Oh, two power tablets. Yeah, they need two power tablets and a choice belt to get there. Maybe I should have got Gardevoir down instead, instead of the Umbreon. Maybe that was a bit greedy. Because Gardevoir would have made it so they'd have to get three power tablets to get the KO here. You know? How many power tablets? They played one. That's a cram. If they don't get the choice, they need what? Four power tablets? Am I right? 210, 240. So that has to be one power tablet or choice belt. 270. They need three damage modifiers. That's one down. So they need two more damage modification. Cram. So that's going to be another. They could get it. I mean, I think we're far enough ahead where it's okay. Oh, they're going to go for the Umbreon. They're worried. Oh, they're worried. They don't want to get bossed up. But we've got boss in hand, bro. So, and they ain't got hand reception. This, this, this is the old variant. They don't play Marnie. Yeah. Now, you, you, obviously, we've got to point out the obvious. This is the older Mew. Um, and funnily enough, it's actually worse than the, the current one. The current one has Roxanne, even Roxanne Path. Fully enough, because Mew can set up to a point where it doesn't even need the Genesect so much anymore. So you can just Roxanne Path um, when they get that far ahead. But, you know, here we are. Um, right. I attach you there. Yeah, that's for sure. I think we just take the KO. The Roxanne isn't going to do any, any anything for us. And we have game in hand, technically. So I'm just going to build up the hand a little bit more. Lost City, honestly. I don't think it does any favours. <laughs> I don't think it does any favours, if I'm honest with you. So, 
I don't even think I benched Lost City. Oh, do you know, what, do you know what, just, just for the sake of countering Stadium, I'll, I'll, I'll play the Lost City. Um, we've got KO here. And then, funnily enough, we just need to survive this turn. Which we are more likely to do now, considering the outs to damage modifiers is quite low. We still have another Arceus V-Star in deck as well. So if this goes down, we still have one more to follow up with. And then we just boss KO a Genesec, bro. You know, or we just KO the Mew straight away with this. It depends if they get an Orcoria down or not. But we do have game right after this. Just just thanks to, to the Umbreon weakness, which is nice. So we have actually we actually have a decent Mew V Max matchup, which is really good. That's a bit of a no-brainer. Um, even though, as I said, this is the older variant. Even with Orocorio, there's still ways around it, so it's fine. Um, so it's actually good that we got a full game for once. Oh my god, I've got to leave my house soon. <laughs> Crying out loud. Oh, lovely, isn't it? Isn't it great, eh? Isn't it great? <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Finally a game. <laughs> oh, right. They're gonna just do that. We come in, done. I, I don't know. I don't know what else they can do. What else can they do? Even if they KO me, what else can they do? We're fine. Let's move sailing. It is nice to see them try, though, isn't it? He's giving it a go, but it's just too little, too late, my friend. The moon badge saves me so much as well. It really does. I wonder how the prizes would have been now without that. That's four down. Still not enough to KO me, I don't think, right? It would be nice to see, like, if you do miss the damage out, like, you do miss the power tablets counting them. It would be nice to see if you could just kind of check somewhere how many have been played. I wonder if PDC Live has that. PDC Live has something really cool. Uh, PDC Live has, like, these little counter things on there to show that the abilities, so what effects are in play. And what's going on, which is really cool. So, like, if you use flower selecting, it will say it's been used. Right. Game. It's just straight game. Boss game. <laughs> Mew who? <laughs> Let's try sneaking one more. We can manually retreat at some point if necessary. There's the scoop. There we go. There's a shocker. All right, we're playing you again. Two Mew matchups in a row. <laughs> oh my God. What is the ladder, bro? What is, <laughs> what is the ladder? I guess Mew's that one deck that always has a good turn one, so people just aren't scooping with it. <laughs> it's gotta be that, right? It's gotta be that. Anyway, let's get Arceus down as per usual. I don't think it's a good idea to go into the active and go for a Trinity charge although actually it's not a bad shout is it because it just charges up this before one get one at ko on the movie max following so it actually isn't a bad shout for trinity charge to be fair i'm not against the idea um i'm oh i didn't check my prizes i don't know if it's worth heavy balling or just quick balling away the heavy ball for a bidoof you know that seems more more i, I think yeah i think oh do i get rid of the lost city i don't know if this is the one that plays path to the peak and we're already one lost city down. Do you know what? Yeah, we're not going to risk it like that. We're going to go ahead and just get, we'll get a Bidoof down. I could have got a Gardevoir to keep the Arceus alive. But either way, as I said, like as long as we get Umbreon's ready to go, at that point, you know, you just have a massive advantage. So we might as well just commit to that for now. And look, if they KO this, then we can just Evo to the Umbreon. Or we can just Evo to a Bidoof, to, to a bit Barrel, and then just work from there. So honestly, I think that's the right play anyway. So it's all good. Uh, interesting enough, I think this actually has a better matchup against this variant of Mew. This one's playing Capture Energy, which is interesting. So this isn't the Turbo Mew, Turbo Energy. Uh, but against Turbo Mew, um, why is that, Sean? Oh, yes, because you can gust because there's no Fusion Strike Energy to pre prevent the, uh, the gusting ability of Umbreon VMAX, even though, obviously, we have to navigate the damage problem. Um, and find a choice belt to guarantee KO. That's still not a big, as big a deal, right? But like if they don't get a KO on us here, if they somehow whiff it... Also, what the hell? You're playing a Vitality Band? Huh? Right, so this is not another different Mew variant that is playing Vitality Band. 
Why? Why that over Choice Bell? I know it hits all Pokemon with greater damage output, but you have Power Tablet. So there's no real maths problem there. It's, a, it's an odd one. It's an odd one. It is strange. All right, regardless, we do... Oh, no, we don't have the one to kill just yet. I don't want to get rid of Roxanne, but I don't think Roxanne's that good in this deck anyway. So let's just get a bit Barrel. And we'll just uh, also evolve to the Umbreon V Max. And it'd be nice to get another Umbreon V Max down, but at this at the same time, simply because of this, our Gusting Effect is, is just pointless. Uh, yeah, let's just fail that. And we just need a Choice Belt. That's all we need. What? Earth! That's disgusting! What is that? Ugh, that's a disgusting hand! Oh my gosh! Right, well in that case, I should just go for a Zen shot, no? I think I go for a Zen shot here. I think I do. I could just Zen shot this Mew. Um, and then, do I Zen shot the active? No. I'm going to Zen shot the Mew. Yes, they're going to get a KO me here. I know. But it puts it in range. Without the choice belt. And then obviously, and then we can just dig a bit more for a choice belt. I, I, I doubt they're going to get a one hit KO on this at any point. Especially with Gardevoir now in play. So if they just take this out and we go down to two prizes, yeah, so be it. I think we can still win in two turns. We just got to get ourselves in that position. And I think Zen shot puts us in that place because then we can just find a choice belt for this one. This one's already got damage on it, so the Oral Courier doesn't matter. And it actually is... Oh, actually, does it matter? 40 damage, 310. Yeah, no, it's fine. They'll be at 270 HP, which means... And we're hitting straight 280. So I think we're fine, even if they KO me here. Now, they could go for a boss. We don't have the badge to protect us, so they could boss us and hit us preemptively, which is actually even more scary. So let's hope they ain't got that play, even though Mew usually has every play at once. <laughs> Let's be real. Will they greed and take the KO, or will they do what's right and KO the Umbreon? Well, not KO it, but you know what I mean. Okay, no boss unless they have Cross Switcher. Man, this is an old Mew. Peony? Latias? Bro, have I traveled back to 2019 or something? When did this deck come out? I don't know. 2019 or something? <laughs> what? <laughs> right, no boss. No Gust. So the Espeon's going down. But it's fine. It's okay. You could just play a, tra a Draper in this deck as well. It's so much easier. But we, we cover Mew anyway, don't we? We do technically cover Mew already. Is there any point? I don't know. We've got a guaranteed KO here. They cannot get to a point of one it KOing us, right? They just can't. Can they? Can they hit a 330? I think that's, it's possible. Other than that, though, you know. Right, Industrious Incisors. Unfortunately, I can't actually get a two-prizer down. Because that's Gust's game for them. So, a two-prizer... Bedrick a two-prizer is actually the worst possible outcome here. So, I just need to go ahead, take this KO. I can bench you. Um, and just dig. Just dig for that final choice belt. That would just see us through. Um, oh, Zigzagoon, do you help in any way? Zigzagoon scoop brings it to 290, so that still won't do it. I'm thinking about this benched Mew V Max, by the way, that they're obviously going to come up with next. Um, Guru is probably better for digging. So I'm just going to Marnie now. Right then. Oh, to be honest, I could get another Umbreon down. No, I think, you know, I was thinking of doing that and attaching the moon badge. I think we go for Lost City. We still need to dig here. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to primate wisdom the research. We're just seriously digging for that final choice belt. Next time we should get it. 300 damage. Why is it 300. Oh, it's 320 minus 20. Oh, it's 300 damage. So Zigzagoon does fix the maths. Oh, I've had it so wrong. It's after weakness, not before. After applying weakness. I thought it was before, so I think I was hitting a 140. No, 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 no. We're hitting 300, mate. 
Sixacoon fixes it perfectly. Wow, so we have an even better matchup than I thought. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. Look, they ain't got a KO on us, bro. They ain't got it. It's funny that we played two Mews in this deck. So much variety on the channel, eh? <laughs> Listen, I'm playing what I can, okay? This is what's been served on the plate. Everything else has scooped on me. You know, what can I do? <laughs> what can I do? It's two Mew. Fine. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy now. I remember going back back to the day when this type of me was being played. And it was just like, oh my god, nothing beats it. And look how, look how far we've come, eh? Look at us now. Uh, look at us now. <laughs> come so far. Well, I'm not even threatened. I feel fine. Absolutely fine. And I'm, I'm glad I didn't bench two prizes, because that would have been... That's the old Sean. The old Sean does that nonsense. <laughs> yeah, look how... This, this is such an old variant. Um... Peonies. This, this is almost like the first ever Mew deck. Vitality Bands. I don't think Choice Belt was released at that point. Vitality Bands. Peonies and Fan Waves and Latiuses. This is like the first ever. I feel like I've gone back in time. <laughs> anyway, Zigzagoon fixes it for us perfectly. Look at this. We just get a Ziggy. We don't even need the Choice Belt anymore. Bang. 10 damage. You are... Oh. Oh yeah, of course! I'm such a donut. The it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I just need to dig through my deck. Where's this? <laughs> Don't mess up on me now, game, please. Just get another big barrel out, okay? And then we just go for another big barrel play. And I just do this, and then we just research. You got multiple big barrels. We have got it. There is no way in hell I am whiffing this, okay? I'm sorry, it ain't happening, chief. All right. It ain't happening on my radar. I just need to get myself a little chinky choice belt. That's all. How many outs do I have to it? Tons. Tons! Just give me a bloody choice belt! Okay, thank you. I was about to say, are you joking? <laughs> Max Darkness, there we go. Beautiful. Nice and comfortable win against the Mew. Okay, the Zigzagoon didn't do it. Well done. <laughs> we still got to dub two Mews, two Wins. Beautiful, man. Right, I've got to be quick because my camera light is it's just dying. I've been recording for that long. <laughs> so, how highly do I rate this deck? Very, very highly. In fact, it's got one of the highest ratings we've seen in a long, long time uh, when it comes to the decks that I cover here. So, Archeon is what it's called. Damage potential of 9. It usually is an 8 for me in Archeos decks. It's 180, 210. It's a very comfortable number. It's above that 2-hit KO range for everything else in the format and can 1-hit KO some single prizes here and there. But because it can go up to that 2 20 with that zigzagoon play and you can just take out a nice early v i think it ups it just a little bit higher which is pretty cool as well plus you've got to consider espion v max has an incredible damage potential uh, depending on the matchup if it's arceus matchup then you know it just hits one at ko numbers very comfortably so you've got to consider that as well with the espion so a damage potential of nine is really good time to damage potential we've got an eight attach attach attack and then you're good from there and, and th that's just typical Ar arceus right Damage maintenance of 10, of course, being able to accelerate energy into play with Arceus just means you're just never not attacking most of the time, um, which is, is one of the best things about Arceus on top of its star birth. Um, just the fact that it just keeps energy in play is nuts. Uh, search potential and 8, you have the big barrels, you have star birth, you know, you, you have some pretty cool access to a lot of things um, in the deck, so it's a very comfortable 8 for sure. Countability a 7, it's high, it is high. Being able to gust up things very comfortably with the uh, with the Umbreon countering Mew with that matchup as you saw, both of them we had very comfortable matchups with. Um, and the Espeon dealing with the Lost Box problems, also very, very good. The Lost Cities in there dealing with the single prizes, the Regis. There's so much counter ability in this deck. It's almost a counter meta deck, uh, so to speak. Um, uh, it does lack Manaphy and stuff like that. And there are other matchups where you may be a bit more questionable. Like the, the Palkia matchup can be a bit more difficult, I would say, um, compared to, let's say, uh, the Arceus um, Pikachu with the Espeon, you know, you do kind of give up that matchup a little bit. You could tech in like a simple Raikou or something like that just to help deal with it um, if you want to, but you know, it just, it just it does just get a bit more awkward at that point with that matchup, so you've got to consider that too. Um, HP and prices are six. It's average, you know, above average. I guess you could say the God of All puts, just pushes it up a little bit. Having three prices with 310 isn't that great, uh, and 280 is just your bang average for V-Stars anyway. It's just a decent level, so. Well, that's no, not average. I, I guess it's the higher level, so I can't be too harsh there. Um, but yeah, overall, a rating of 48. Very, very highly rated by myself. It is very, 
I think it fits perfectly uh, in, in, into the meta when it comes to uh, the matchups that are available and, and what it can deal with. So definitely try it out for yourself, man. It's a great Arceus variant and one that I really, really love. I love this variant. If I was going to take an Arceus variant anywhere, it would be this one. It's just so fun. So definitely try it for yourself. Do leave a like if you didn't enjoy. Please do subscribe for more. And tomorrow's video, we're going to have a wacky deck, man. Proper sick deck. Anyway, take care of yourself and peace. PokeX Word is a Pokemon puzzle website where you can go and complete Pokemon crosswords and the newly launched Guess That Pokemon. So if you definitely are interested in having some fun on your downtime and you want to improve your Pokemon knowledge, check out PokeX Word. Link in the description down below. Thanks again for them for sponsoring and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.